वेलकम बैक टू माई वूज एंड न्यूज न्यूज स्टोरीज फॉर यू फ्राम इथियोपिया एंड एरटिया फर्स्टली एन अपडेट व्यूअर्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी रिपोर्टेड अबाउट रोड रेस बींग ऑर्गेनाइज इन बाहिदार अम्हारा रीजन द रोड रेस नेम्ड स्पिरिचुअल रन वॉज बी ऑर्गेनाइज बाय इथियोपियन ऑर्थोडॉक्स चर्च ऑफिशल्स अबू ने इब्राहम वॉज द मेन ऑर्गेनाइजर ऑफ द प्रोग्राम इट वॉज हेल्ड इन बाहिदार इट हैज बीन कन्फर्म दैट द मनी कलेक्टेड फंड रेज विल गो टू द ऑर्थोडॉक्स चर्च बिकॉज Abu Nibrahim is building a new church and a religious school so all the revenue uh, raised from this program which was held in Bahidar in which hundreds participated will go to Ethiopian Orthodox Church uh, Abu Nibrahim will spend the money uh now uh, some headlines for you firstly viewers uh, Eritrean president Isas Hawki uh, sends special messages to heads of state in Africa. We have seen that in recent months and years that uh, mostly he delivers messages by post, and he sends a duo two-man delegation uh, which delivers his messages to neighboring countries. and the two men are usman sale who is uh, eritrean uh, foreign minister and jimane gabriel who is uh, advisor to president sasa foki a special message was delivered to william ruto kenyan president from sasa foki around 48 hours ago but this time only a foreign minister was seen where is jimane gabriel uh secondly ethiopian state broadcaster could come under sanctions fifa is uh, considering imposition of sanctions on ethiopian broadcasting corporation and third viewers protests are being seen outside ethiopia by oromo diaspora community Uh, a few days ago a protest was held in london and on 48 hours ago a protest was organized in oslo norway meanwhile uh, students of a university in dere diva uh, protested as well uh, against alleged uh, killings of oromo civilians uh, firstly viewers uh, whenever isas evoki sends special messages to the leaders of neighboring countries uh, he dispatches the messages uh, through a delegation a uh, two member delegation usman saleh and jiman gabriel i remember that uh, this year he sent uh, at least two or three messages uh, in sudan Uh, to abdul fatal burhan sunni's uh, head of sovereignty council and back then both yemane and usman saleh were seen together delivering isas evoki's message to sunni leadership so mostly uh, the two are seen together delivering isas evoki's messages uh, to neighboring uh, countries or other countries leaders uh and whenever they are together who is in charge in charge is yemen what we have learned though he is advisor usman is a uh, foreign minister but yemen is the man who makes decisions who who has final say when the two travel wherever they go because he is closer to isas evoki than usman saleh maybe uh But around 48 hours ago usman saleh was seen in a kenya he met with uh, william ruto newly elected kenyan president he, and he delivered a message special message from eritrean president isas evoki uh, to william ruto and reportedly uh, he invited uh, on behalf of isas evoki he invited william ruto to visit eritrea Uh, and 
टूटो कुड विजिट इरटिया इन नियर फ्यूचर ये मैन ए वॉज नॉट सीन वेयर इज ही द पेयर हैज बीन ब्रोक ऑन इट सीम्स दो मे बी प्रोविजनली ही माइट बी बिजी विद सम अदर एंगेजमेंट्स बट इट्स वेरी रेयर टू सी ओनली Usman delivering a special message from his ass ever to a neighbor leader. So either the message is a routine message, uh, or there are some issues. Uh, this week, uh, a man close to Imane was arrested by Iranian government. His name is uh, Indriyas Esmiram. I spoke on that in a video. Uh, i think he was uh, working uh, as head of uh, an organization youth organization i think uh, he was arrested and some say he was arrested on corruption charges no one confirmed and he is seen as right hand man of yemane gabriel so that is what we know don't know if yemane gabriel has been sidelined or not but uh, he was not seen uh, in uh, nairobi kenya Uh, maybe in coming days we'll see uh, where Shivani Gabriel is. Uh, secondly, viewers, Ethiopian state broadcaster could come under sanctions. Ethiopian Broadcasting Corporation could be put under sanctions by FIFA. FIFA is organizing a World Cup in Qatar underway. Second round ongoing, and uh, uh, Ethiopian state broadcaster. uh purchased rights to air some uh, matches of the world cup limited number of matches but uh, the state broadcaster violated the agreement by broadcasting more matches than uh, the media was allowed to broadcast fifa reportedly warned the open state broadcaster but it did not listen and now fifa is planning to impose sanctions on ebc if sanctions are imposed uh, it means ebc will not be able to purchase directly or indirectly any rights to air uh, fifa uh, events and secondly uh fifa is planning a lawsuit as well against uh, ethiopian state broadcaster confirmed by fifa officials last it was protests underway not only in ethiopia but outside ethiopia as well i reported about the gravity of situation in valaga where hundreds have been killed both sides are pointing fingers towards each other both sides are sharing conflicting accounts of what happened there but killings are being confirmed by both sides that hundreds have been killed and several hundred thousand displaced from valaga valaga has been a hell for civilians for uh, years if not decades it's, it's not a new thing but uh, this sudden escalation of uh, violence uh, will have uh, far reaching implications uh will try to analyze this sudden uh, eruption of violence in while again a separate video protests are under way viewers uh, even before the start of these uh, uh violent uh, uh, attacks in valaga protests were being carried out by romos uh, they held a demonstration in london a few days ago and then two days ago they protested in oslo norway against alleged genocide of oromos meanwhile at uh, haramaya university of deridiva students took uh, to the streets they protested against alleged killings of oromo civilians in valaga and they are asking other university students as well other students of other universities uh, to protest too and we are see, seeing calls for protest in the amhara region as well their activists are claiming that ethnic amharas were the victims in valaga they were attacked by ola and romia government forces uh, tigrans have been protesting uh, since november 2020 amhara diaspora community uh, started demonstrations uh, 
earlier this year, I think in April, when you know, federal government, Amhara regional government, was a crackdown on Fano, on dissidents in Amhara region. And now, OLA, uh, pro OLA Oromo factions in diaspora are protesting. Oromos, Amharas, Tegarai, three main, three uh, powerful ethnic group uh, members are protesting. I think uh, Oromo and Amhara uh, ruling uh, groups are not protesting. Rather, some disgruntled elements within Oromia, within Amhara, they are protesting. And the protest is definitely against Ethiopian federal government. All three groups, protests are against federal government. And uh, uh, in the case of uh, Oromo and Amhara protests against uh, regional governments. So, so everyone is protesting, it means. We have seen demonstrations from... Uh, Vulaitas, Guragas, to Afars protesting, to Somalis, to what is needed is some sort of new start. If I propose something, people say, Sajid, you don't, uh, you shouldn't be sermonizing. You are a Pope. You just uh, know nothing about Ethiopia and you keep on giving your recommendations. If I don't propose a thing, people say, Sajid, you are just uh, trying to find fault with Ethiopia. You are not sharing any constructive thing. So, but I uh, can't uh, help uh, sharing my views. Uh, if everyone is protesting, it means there are unresolved issues. And uh, Ethiopia needs a new start. That is what I say. Though new start is not uh, on the cards.